Hello, it's Justin from Vish. Um, one of the most frequently asked questions I get is about whether somebody is pregnant or not from uh, dry humping or mutual masturbation. Now, I can't say whether somebody is pregnant or not, okay? I'm not there, I'm here. Um, it's very difficult to do. But I can say that with that kind of sex, that there is a 0.0000001% risk of pregnancy. You know, around about that, give or take a few zeros. Okay, so um, and so in this video, very quickly, I'll try and explain why that is, but also I'll try and help people who are really, really worried about it, and give them some tips about how maybe to try and be less worried. So first of all, the reason why it's really difficult to get pregnant from mutual masturbation and dry humping is it's actually pretty difficult to get pregnant from and penis and vagina sex, okay? So uh, people having penis and vagina sex and wanting to get pregnant, then they would have to ejaculate inside the vagina at the right time of the menstrual cycle, so just before ovulation, so that's an around a five day window during every menstrual cycle. And then if a sperm and an egg meet, then um, the sperm has to fertilize the egg and that only happens around a third of the time. And then after fertilization, implantation has to happen, which doesn't always happen. So you can see it's it's much more difficult than people think to get pregnant from penis and vagina sex. It's around like a 15% chance or something like that. Now, some people get pregnant really, really quickly doing that and they only need to have sex once or twice to get pregnant. Other people need to take a bit of time. Okay, so that's kind of fertility explained. So with mutual masturbation and dry humping, because the penis isn't going in the vagina and the sperm isn't going directly inside the vagina, the risks are very, very, very low. Okay? Um, but people still worry about that and even when I give people all the facts um, about how people um, actually do get pregnant they still think that there is a chance that a rogue sperm that was in some pre-cum uh, which isn't really cum, more about that on my website here um, might have travelled down the outside of the, of the vulva and down into the vagina it's just not likely to happen because um, even if there were sperm around on the outside of the body, they die really quickly because they need semen to keep them alive. So, but even when I do tell people the facts about um, why their risk is so low from mutual masturbation and from dry humping, they're still really, really worried about it and they can't let go of that worry. So really my advice is less to do with about understanding what happens and more to do with understanding what's happening for you around worry and anxiety. Uh, like how do you deal with worry? And how do you deal with other kinds of worry and anxiety in your life? Okay, now worry and anxiety are constant. We all have things that we kind of may feel uh, worried about or anxious about or sad about. But like all difficult feelings, they're temporary. Okay, so um, and they're difficult feelings for a reason. They're difficult and they can be difficult to deal with. But the best thing to do is not to try and fight it and not to try and reason with it, but just uh, to allow yourself to feel these are called feelings and to know that they're going to stop. So it's a little bit like a fart, okay? So imagine you're trapped in a room with a fart. So rather than sitting in the fart and thinking this fart is never going to end, um, don't waft the fart because you'll get up and you'll waft the fart everywhere and you'll get hot and sweaty and you'll feel annoyed because it still smells of farts. And don't get any air freshener and spray the air freshener at the fart because then the room will smell of farts and air fresheners. So what you need to do is just to open a window and gently allow the fart to leave the room. It's a beautiful image, isn't it? Um, but that's kind of what you need to do with worry. So if you are worrying that you're really, really pregnant, um, you know, I told you all the facts, okay? You just have to wait for the worry um, to leave the room like a fart. But also be aware that if you're worried that your period's really late, if you're somebody who gets periods, or if your partner's periods are really late um, then you should you need to be aware that teenagers often have really really late periods or sometimes really early periods okay and stress is one of the contributory factors for periods being late okay so the more stressed out you get about it the more likely it is your period might be late which then might make you more stressed that you're pregnant okay so if you really are worried about this still and you want to talk to somebody in um, person about this then if uh, then you can go to a young people's sexual health clinic and in the UK they're free and completely confidential so you can go along and tell 
um, the nurse or the doctor or the health advisor or the youth worker or the sex educator um, what's happened and they can give you some reassurance but also if they think that you're at risk then they could give you uh, the emergency pill, the emergency contraceptive pill which can be taken within five days of unprotected sex and also you could take a pregnancy test there and they could just take it with you and they can counsel you and talk you through it and make you feel a bit better okay even if they think that you're not pregnant you could still go and get a test if you're really really worried about it and for more information about where you can go for that you can go to my website which has got uh, the links clearly on the right hand side of the page for you to go and find your local service so i hope that's helped and um, if you are worrying about this i hope that the fart goes away soon okay thanks bye